championed women on boards for a very long time uh, and was a member of the Davis Committee when we set that target at 25%. And I hope in practice I've lived it out in the various boards I've chaired since then. And uh, in more recent times, I have, of course, carried out a review of ethnic diversity on board for the government and uh, where we have set targets uh, of one by 21 for the FTSE 100, uh, based on similar percentages as we use for the women in the population. So the reality is I've been extremely interested in diversity and in practice on the boards. I can say without hesitation that diversity has enriched uh, the debate within the boardrooms I've chaired I've been fortunate to chair six one, FTSE 100 companies now, and uh, virtually all of them have had women on the boards, uh, and uh, at least four out of the six have had ethnic diverse candidates. And I'm very pleased to say that my last board that I've left, which just recently at the end of July, Pennon Group, I left with a woman chairman, a woman CEO, and an ethnically diverse member that's now chair of the remuneration committee. So I think that it's absolutely crucial that we use all the talent in society. And as we said in the review, uh, we, we positioned it on two pillars. One, companies need to align with their customer base. And secondly, we need to recognize the the changing dynamics, the changing demographic patterns, both at home and overseas, uh, will change the talent pool that we fish in in the future.